So, Jason, you're playing tennis, all right? Now, um, the last two problems, guys, were this kind of like algebra one. You just un I we only had one trigonometric function, right? And we just isolated that trigonometric function, correct? Well, when solving equations, that's all you did is isolate values. You just didn't do it with these types of difficulty, uh, but all you're doing was isolating and solving. Well, here you guys can see we have multiple functions. We can't solve for sine or solve for tangent because then the other trigonometric function is going to be in the answer, correct? So the only thing we can do is make sure we set this equal to 0 and try to factor by using the zero product property. Now, fortunately for us, this is already set equal to 0. But sometimes you're going to have things on both sides. Get them to the same side, set them equal to 0. So now we need to see if we can factor. So we look at this and say, all right, is there anything I can factor out in this case? Tangent. So I can factor out a tangent of x. And I'm left with the square root of 2 times sine of x minus 1 equals 0. Follow. Tangent times negative 1 is negative tangent of x. Tangent times square root of 2 sine of x is square root of 2 tangent sine x. Okay. Now we have the product equal to 0. The product equal to 0. Now we can apply the zero product property. We set them both equal to 0. Okay. Now we just go and solve. Well, first of all, we've got to figure out when is tangent of x equal to 0. Now remember, tangent represents y over x, right? So when tangent represents y over x, that means basically for it to be 0, um, our y our y coordinate needs to be 0, right? So that occurs at those two points. That's 1 comma 0, and that's negative 1 comma 0. So get yeah, Jason. Our y coordinate is negative right here. So we can say the solutions are x equals 0 and at pi. Would you guys agree with me those angles make tangent equal to 0? Okay. Over here, we're going to add 1. So we have sine of x equals 1 divided by square root of 2. Do we have anything with square root of 2? Well, we do, but it's 2 square root of 2 over 2. That's not the same thing, though. But if we remember, we can rationalize the denominator. So therefore, I need to figure out what angles is equal to the square root of 2 over 2. What solutions give me that? So you know pi over 4. And then what other one is it also positive? Well, it's, those set, it's, the other pi over, it's the other time when pi over 4, but it's in the second quadrant. So that angle would be? It has to be in the second quadrant. Sine, sine, sine. So that is 3 pi over 4. So x equals pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4. Does that make sense, Caitlin? Yeah. Good. OK? Now, um, let's do one of those 